is Alexander Mann, and I'm the founder and CEO of Smart Grow Agritech and Vineyard Vantage, uh, located in Harrisonburg, Virginia, United States. So um, for the past uh, little over a year now, I've been working with vineyards in the state of Virginia, installing smart IoT devices to measure and monitor climate and logging that data to the BSV blockchain. Um, and in doing that, I caught the attention of the hardware manufacturer that I'm utilizing, uh, Weatherflow Tempest. And we've been having some conversations about my project that involves uh, moving the weather station data to the blockchain and what some of the benefits and downstream applications of that might be. And to that end, I saw a potential benefit. Um, Tempest operates a personal private weather station network of about 80,000 stations and wanted to look at uh, exploring that a little bit more, converting their network over to the BSV blockchain. So to that end, I put together a uh, proof of concept test or proposed a proof of concept test. And uh, in the next few weeks, we will be gearing up to put about 1.4 million transactions on chain per day uh, over the course of a seven day uh, test period and hoping to uh, gather a lot of metrics and look at the data and see what it might look like to scale this up to a full global mesonet, uh, one of the first on a Web3 decentralized ledger. Weatherflow Tempest manufactures a really awesome personal weather station. Uh, you know, I recommend it to anyone who owns a home or a business. Um, there's very low cost, around $300, uh, one-time cost. And Tempest business model is really uh, forward thinking and innovative. Instead of uh, charging a very high price or a monthly subscription fee and monetizing uh, the product up front, they had a focus on keeping costs low and uh, expanding the network uh, as rapidly as possible. And then looking at ways to monetize the data pool that they create um, downstream. I saw an opportunity after installing one of the weather stations for a local vineyard, Bricks and Columns in the Shenandoah Valley. Um, in follow-up conversations with the owners, there were some questions around what the station can do and what its limitations were. And I found that the standard dashboard that Tempest offers uh, was not exactly tailored towards an agricultural uh, purpose. And so uh, started looking at ways to develop my own post-processing platform to be able to take the data in that the Tempest weather station is providing and add value there. Um, a couple examples would be uh, frost risk uh, and frost uh, mitigation. So early on in the season, there's a, a big um, risk to vines in Virginia. Um, in the early spring, it can get quite cold um, after the buds uh, wake up or break. And so being able to provide the farmers with uh, a little bit more insight into what the actual conditions are gonna be in their vineyard is super valuable. So taking all of the weather data for the season and compressing it down to a single page consumer facing PDF that can be accessed by scanning a QR code on the back of the bottle. In researching the different blockchains and platforms that exist for uh, decentralized ledger technology, um, the BSV really stood out for multiple reasons. Um, one of the main ones for me was reading Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper that he published in 2008 and his vision that he had for a scalable, sustainable blockchain that was accessible to everyone. And you know, I think the scalability really stands out there. So looking at other platforms um, that have lower transaction throughput and higher transaction fees, um, the vision that I have for scaling this project to every vineyard globally, um, it just other platforms couldn't meet that scale and meet that demand. Uh, whereas looking at BSV, um, the the scalable block size and the low transaction fees really allow businesses like mine to thrive and not just currently, but with an eye on the future towards scaling, um, especially with BSV uh, building out Terranode right now, which is boasting transaction throughput of a, a, upwards of 1 million transactions per second. So just looking at which platform to use, BSV seemed like the most forward thinking and uh, futuristic platform to go with, with scalability in mind.